Lucy K in studio. Louie. What's up, Louie? Good doing, man. Gentlemen. Hey, four eyes. Oh, uh, no. You got no, 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 no. These are, no, no, no. You These are glasses. Them. Oh, yeah, no. That's so not weird. Eyes. Four eyes. Hey, two eyes, two lenses. Jimmy, uh, stop leaning, Roland. You just missed Jimmy's boner. We're trying to figure out why you got a boner. I'm looking at that chick. That that's what it. I, I thought a, you had it before that. No, I just got that. Wow, so that I, I got like a half a rod. You got an erection? Half a rod, you not get, a full one, but I bent it so it looks more presentable. There's a girl from CNBC that looks really hot. And so and, he uh, got a boner. From, Jimmy from got a, a girl boner on a, on a boner from yeah. glancing like, at the really? TV screen. I was Quickly. poking it a little bit, and sometimes when I poke it, it responds. <laughs> sure, it wakes yeah. up for the day. Yeah, it becomes turgid. You're yeah. poking it for? Why wouldn't you? I remember you pissed in my uh, oatmeal one morning right here at this <laughs> counter. You took out your dick and pissed into my oatmeal. Do you remember oh, really? this, Jimmy? Yeah. I don't remember. No, I don't remember yeah. that one. Did I really do that? Oh, yep. good for me. About two ounces. <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I don't remember doing that. Well, how are you, Lou? Good. How are you? Good. Oh, that's okay. interesting. I have an apnea. No, no, I have an apnea mask. It's not working out yet, but I'm getting there. You have a what? Sleep apnea mask. Uh, sleep apnea. You sleep with one of those masks? Show, yes. show Louie the picture. Well, See, I thought I, somebody told me I should get one of those. They probably meant just to uh, walk around with How's your kid doing? Good. Good. How old now? Two. Oh, my God. Just turned that the, your kid? Oh, what happened? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because usually somebody shows you a picture while you're asking about a kid. But Jimmy, that's really fucking gross. That's disgusting. Really? That's you at sleep time? Yes. yes. Yeah. Isn't that good. amazing? Oh, you don't have to do that. I do. I wake up a lot. I'm always tired. Wow. But, it, but it also pumps air in his face so fast well, that, that his lips go... <laughs> yeah, well, no, what happens is that's how he woke up last that, night. That, that chin strap at the bottom holds that's my that's mouth that's together that's so the yeah. air doesn't blow out my mouth. But sometimes, like, the air is so strong. It's like, I woke up, I swear to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking humiliating. What's her name? She's fucking lovely. Are you yeah. filling up again? No, I won't fill up now because Louie's too close to me. How, how many hours sleep did you get with the new uh, about an hour accessories? Last night. About an hour. Oh, fuck. She was a guy. You only course. did an hour? I think that would make that would put too much pressure on me to sleep. You, know? you get used to it, though. It's like I'm, yeah. I'm just doing it. How do you roll around in bed without yeah, choking man. yourself? No, no, it's okay. It's a long tube. Um, and it's a little uncomfortable. Is it like, do they put pure oxygen in there? No, or? no, no. It's just air. You go through, it, there's a humidifier in it um, with distilled water. Ooh, and um, that sounds good, though. It is. I, I always know. feel like I'm breathing in dry air Dude, in New York City. My throat's not Constantly. dry at all. In yeah, case I, anybody wants to know my throat moisture ratio, it's I, pretty good. I wake up with a dry throat every morning for the stupid New York City air. Not me. Because everyone has to keep their heat on still. The fuck? It's almost yeah. June. My building still the, the heat right? blasts if it's sixty degrees. I, oh. I didn't even uh, turn. I turned on my heat twice this winter. I had it one day this year where I, I had the AC on fighting the heat. Yeah, that's what I, I do. <laughs> we <laughs> see and heat on at the same. We have time. the AC on uh, during the winter because yeah, everyone yeah. heats up their apartments and all mm -hmm. the heat fucking rises. I do not like shit. that whole you know common heat thing where it's either. like oh we turned it on for the whole building. Yeah, like, no, that's a drag. I know, I don't get that. We you don't know what when product. it comes on, and yeah, you know, then when it shuts off. Oh, right. We have old radiators where I reach in, you know, when there's like oh. eight dead mice around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen mice in it? There's quite a few dead mice around my radiator. Yeah. Oh really? no. Yeah, a lot uh, of dead mice. We had train in here. <laughs> and, yeah, and they were talking about the uh, the faggots. what is that. Train is a great band. Oh, oh great yeah, I love band. them. I, uh, they love you. That's <laughs> what, they love you. That's what oh, no, I'm getting me at. Me too, totally. They, yeah, love they them. got a new CD out called California 37. They came in, performed a couple songs, and then they did Ramble On by Zeppelin. It was amazing. But the first thing they said, they recognized Jimmy from your show, mm -hmm. the faggot scene. They're like, it was the most amazing scene. Yeah, people like that. But they, he said it's yes. the most amazing fucking scene he's ever seen on TV. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. The faggot yeah. scene is what nice people, coming from I call them. it I'm the faggot scene. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I call it the faggot scene. I don't know how else. No, you're right. That's what it is. Faggot scene. Yeah, that's right. what, they, they say that about every scene I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they uh, gave you massive props. That's nice to know that. And, so, and then they got uh, mad at Slash. It's been a it's been a long day, though. They got mad at Slash, and I wasn't allowed back to the studio. It was a whole thing. <laughs> well, Slash is people, really. We're a little intense today. They was Slash to here? Yeah. yeah. Is it his band or something? No. No, no okay, I know, sorry. Two but bands. they wanted to take <laughs> okay, a picture so Slash, with Slash. What? They wanted to take a picture with Slash. They were leaving when Slash was coming in. And he wouldn't take it? No. No. But well, you know, he's like, it's like the president and then Slash, <clears throat> right? It's like. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how they think. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. The guy from that band? <laughs> that seems to be the that's case. That's not together for a long time. Right. Out of three good hits. <laughs> really? Slash? You're 
much. He's yeah. a he's a pretty he's a pretty legendary guy. He's a okay, legendary guy. But you need to tell me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't a Guns N' Roses guy. No, I like Guns N' Roses. They were good. Just the basic songs that you heard but, on the radio. You know, I don't know. I don't take pictures with people either. So you never I'm not do. You never shot. did. I'm not a big shot. I know. I stopped. When you got real famous. Yeah, because it's everybody wants one, and I actually like meeting people. I like when people come up to me and say hello, and I like your show. I find that uh, I'm very grateful. Yeah. And I like to talk to them. But I, and I found I was shrinking away from people because I really hate taking a picture with a person. Oh, you stopped taking it with fans. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't do it. So oh, now I'm wow. able to meet people. I say to them, no, I won't take a picture, and they get a kind of a funny look. And I shake their hand, and I say, what's your name, though? And where are you from? And I talk to them. Oh, but the whole time, oh, they're just going, fucking fuck ass. Picture. 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 Yeah, they don't really want to meet you. Oh, this is good. <laughs> they want to put it on their face. So yeah. now, instead of fucking, you're, you're yeah, killing them. You're instead killing of having them. a picture to show people, I have a story. <laughs> right. So then, I'll write yeah. out my Louis story on my hand, and at, <laughs> you know, exactly. it's like I you want to show a picture. Louis asked my name, and I told him. It's not my job to make those fucking people happy. That's true. <laughs> you can't get everything you want. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You get every fucking single thing. I gotta thing agree you want. with you. Oh, that would drive Jimmy nuts. Oh, you can't get a picture with somebody. And then they, you, then they like, make you talk to him for a minute. I and wouldn't mind, but then I would think that I was building a relationship. And I'd like, look, can we do the picture at the end? <laughs> Some people do that. Like, after I've talked to him for a bit, they're like, all right. Like anyway, now, so now can we have the picture? And I go, no, we still can't have the picture. Wow. Yeah. And that's just what you don't like taking pictures. I don't like that. Mo I don't like living that moment. And because I'm asked a few times a day, I, I don't care if you don't I sound like, like the an arm around I just, with a smile. I don't like it. But I, I like it. talking to them. Mm. So I separated the two things I out. I don't from like each either. Other. I don't think you like talking to them. I don't like you talking. How about no? You? I do. I do. I actually how about like you do it. both. Yeah, I, I, I I'll, I'll do the picture. Yeah, and a no story. talk and a little story time. Yeah, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> no words. Yeah, a little story time and a picture. Photo leave right. no words. Right. Yeah, and no touching. I don't mind a little touching. I don't mind. I don't know. I don't know what this whole thing about the arm around guys yeah. have. Got. Where did that come Where'd from? Where did you become a person that gets to put your arm around me? I don't put my arm around people I've known for fucking yeah, that's years. The thing. And I'm doing it to some guy, you know, hey, can we get a picture? Well, because when you stand there, it just looks weird. Whatever it is, we're you standing there. you got to do with your arms. They're just no, kind of like don't. flopping around. I told you Seinfeld yeah. said that to somebody at the cellar. I saw him. It was, uh, That's great. He was standing waiting to walk out the cellar door, and he, and he had his hands by, and some Israeli guy went to, to, and he goes, we don't know each other. We don't need to touch. <laughs> it was very <laughs> awkward and beautifully honest. Uh, that's great, man. <laughs> You're in the paper today. Are Me? You, yes. No, what do I do? Which you didn't one? do anything bad, uh, Louis. <laughs> are you offering an audio version of your Beacon show or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that the, was in the paper today. Yeah, if people bought the Beacon special, they can go. It's already there for free. Like they can, if you bought it, then it's like added to your download account. Fuck is that nice of you? And then, well, and then if you buy one, you get a new one. And the reason I'm doing it partly is because there's new stuff on there. There's a new uh, CD called, well, audio special. Right. Uh, live at the uh, uh, Carnegie Hall. Right. So, the, you know, the audio version of Beacon, I wanted to offer it anyway. It's no big deal. I wasn't going um, right. to right. charge for it, but then people come and then maybe they buy the new one. That's a And also, shame, idea. Shameless, my first HBO special, yeah. that's also an audio version of that. I'm, I went to HBO and asked them if I could sell it, and they said, I don't, we don't care. So I give them half of it, but I, it's selling pretty good. Well, that means shameless. they cared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that <laughs> they, get they, money. Cared. they get money that nobody was getting. <laughs> right, I hear you. So, how do you figure all that out? Did you have someone like come to you? You're doing so many things differently. Well, uh -oh. I because you always know this, and you just <laughs> it's because I'm curious. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, what's <laughs> happened? Is no, I just wanted to answer like I like Jimmy's I, trying I know, to answer all I, the questions. I really don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> did you always know you wanted to do things differently, and you just had to figure out figure it out? Well, I'm a very curious person, so I like to. Uh, what is he doing? <laughs> no, doing no, something. I, I'm really not. Oh. I swear to God, when you said I'm very curious, I just wanted to go. Are you bi curious? Jimmy's <laughs> 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 kidding. <tonight. laughs> what made you so? <laughs> I'm overly tired. What? Oh, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. When Jimmy's overly tired, <laughs> so that mask is really helping. That. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's a yeah. fucking torture, Jimmy. <laughs> I would rather die if I would. I wouldn't <laughs> geez, mm. fucking get in an iron lung every night. Is <laughs> everyone? Everyone's not looking at you but, yeah but you always well i like to do I, i'm very <laughs> i'm very curious about how like whenever i'm presented with a new thing like oh right. now you can put out a special i'm like well how does it work i get i'm interested i'm interested in how all that works okay 
So, like, um, I'm selling all my tickets for this. I'm going on tour this fall, and I'm selling all the tickets on my website. Because I got curious, like, how does ah. that work? Instead of just going, okay, cool. let those guys that do that do it. And then I get emails from people saying, you know what? I was charged $25 for <laughs> right. whatever it is to for buy ticket, the ticket fees. Right. Um, you know, when you buy a Ticketmaster ticket and StubHub has an ad on the back of the ticket, you know? So I got curious about that. So I'm selling all the tickets on my website, and there's going to be no ticket charges. That's great. But now I got, smart, I got two more questions for you. Yeah. Uh, is there any backlash because you're doing business differently and cutting out a lot of people? Well, I'm not Are doing it aggressively against anybody. I'm just offering it. I'm venues, just being an American and offering an alternative. No, I understand you know? that, but some of these venues are connected to the ticket. They all are. Well, a lot of them are. And they're so cool we, so we, far. It took a really long... No, we didn't use those venues. It took a lot of work. To we had to go venues. to every city in America to find to find a venue that would uh, do it your way. That would let us use our own ticketing service. They're going to get worked over one of these days. And uh, we also <laughs> we get we get the the emails from the people who the people who buy our, the tickets. Right. I get those. those gotcha. Are, so those are the Glen Gary leads. Those yeah, are good no, leads. I remember you <laughs> so, talking about that last Where time. are my good leads? <laughs> yeah. So that's. Yeah, but anyway, I don't know what's going. My mom said that someone's going to kill you. My mom said someone's going to. That's take great you. though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's fun. It's so fun to do it this way. It really is. Like every city, we found out like a weird venue in some cities that had never done comedy, and a lot of venues have a, a locked deal with uh, a Ticketmaster. Live Nation owns a lot of venues, and I don't have any problem with these companies. I've done business with them for years. Live Nation has mm -hmm. uh, promoted a lot of shows that I've done. MSG has a Ticketmaster deal. I fucking love Madison Square Garden, and there I play the Beacon. Is where that's an MSG room. But I'm just going to try something different. I'm going to try. I want. I want to bring the price down for people because there's still a recession, right. and um, it, it takes more work for me. Like in some places, I have to park and do more shows mm -hmm. to, to accomplish this. Right. But the end result is everybody's paying literally half of what they would have paid. Right. Uh, I'm trying to keep the tickets at 35 bucks, no fee. That's the. That's the goal. That's the goal. And then I end up making a decent amount of money. I just have to work. We had to work harder at make, structuring the deals with each venue. And the last question, then we can move on to the shit. Yeah. Are, are you happy that other guys are following you down this road? I don't know how they're doing. I mean, a couple of guys have done the yeah, video. Jim yeah, Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, I don't Gaffigan. know how they did. I don't know. But, they, they, but are you happy that you started this? Sure. Because right? you knew other people were going to copy you. Yeah, that's fine. You're cool at all. Dude, you want to make good time. ideas worth, you know. Right. That's one of the hundred most influential people that, in the that's, fucking. That's, that's why I want to talk to him about this shit. That's amazing. Yeah, that you I mean, change things it's, that change, much. it's really fun to be like to study it and to get to be the person that gets yeah. the cost report instead of just reading about. it. To me, that's why right. I do it because I'm curious and it doesn't. If I, I figured the loss would be worth it, and again the gain would be really good. They're putting the new thing on the site that I put in. Right. You know, because I have about two hundred and twenty thousand people that have subscribed to my email. And you had to aggressively say you wanted it. I I, I opt wow. you out automatically. Oh, see, a lot of people don't do that. No, they don't. They always the yes, yes. is always pre-checked. So yep. I pre-check no, and then so if you said yes, that that's a strong yes. That means mm -hmm. you want to hear from me. So I figured I've got two hundred twenty thousand people. I put a new audio CD out. I give everybody an email with a buy this for five bucks button, and I told myself easily half of them. There's no way I'm not getting a hundred thousand sales. Immediately, so I got about a thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out, out of the two hundred and twenty thousand, wow. and five thousand people in two minutes dropped the list. They all opted out. Oh my shit! Opt -in, my email list went from two hundred and twenty thousand. I wonder why to that is. Two hundred and fifteen, like in a second. What do they want? Jokes? <laughs> yeah, they're just like fuck you. They heard from me once, and I don't wow. abuse it. Like I don't write to them. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once, one time. six months after fuck they this uh, spam and shit. Fuck head. off these, my fucking these, email. These, you mad asshole. or no? What? What? Yeah. No, I you probably laughed at it. <laughs> no, it was great. And I did. I the, the CDs are doing well. The new things they're doing really well. Not nearly as well as the Beacon Theater thing went. Right. I don't know that anything will ever do that well. But also, I put those out there to keep the shop open, just to keep stuff going out. Mm. We'll see how the tickets do. That's going to be the big test. Yeah. Because I'm not going to have that Ticketmaster blast. Yeah. Right. It'll be a hot item. You have enough people on Twitter. Yeah, I think Louis. <laughs> It'll be a hot item. Yeah. Hot item yeah. Louis got a few bucks now. That's smart, though, man. Got a little bit you of treat, money. You I'd have it? more if I did things differently. The more traditionally, I'd have more money. Right. But in but the I, end, this, this is really going to work out. So, I think it might. I did think you treat it, yourself now that you have a lot more money? Sure. I got a really nice car. And What, you know, what kind of car you got? I got a car that I got in this room. 
I actually oh. should give you guys, I should thank you for the car that I drive. What is it? Interesting. Because I got it last year. It was before this stuff, really. <laughs> oh, is it a Ford AIDS? <laughs> 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 it's a Ford A's hybrid. No, I I was uh, my le I had an Infinity and my lease was up and I was thinking of buying a car and then I put a show up at um, uh, the Borgata mm. and it sold out really quickly and it was nice. a big it was more money than I'd ever been offered for one show before and then it sold out so I said let's do another one and the Borgata didn't want to they thought it was a risk uh -huh. so I I sold I told them put it on sale and I won't. And you can pay me, like, you don't have to guarantee the money, you know? Right. I told them, pay me how many tickets I sell. So if there's only 100 people, don't pay me. Wow. And then I came here to promote it, and Rumsfeld was on the, the phone. Rumsfeld. Oh, right. And I came here explicitly to cause trouble and sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked you guys first if I could talk to Rumsfeld, yes, and you, you let yeah. me. <laughs> and, uh, and so if you remember, I mean, also I kept... It's telling Rumsfeld, like at one point he said, who is this guy? And I said, I'm at the Borgata. We had just added a show, and I kept mentioning the Borgata. Mm -hmm. And we sold out. That thing went viral, and we sold out in two days. Wow. And I, I took the money from that show, and I bought the car outright with wow. the money. What was the car? Do you, you don't want to say? Well, I don't want to tell people what I drive. Fair enough. It's nice, nice though. Nice. It is nice. It's a fucking nice car. Fucking yeah. nice car. Yeah. I and I own it completely. I've never in my life. I grew up pretty poor. Right. I never owned a car you outright. You just went with Except cash. for a guy. The Datsun B210 was the last car Ooh. I owned outright. <laughs> right. And I bought this. You thing couldn't lease it? Did you not want to lease it? I didn't want to. I just wanted to own it and have it be I mine. buy my cars cash. Oh, I lease. one thing I do. I lease that. and give it back. Cash. Yeah. And then I don't do enough miles. No, I pass it on to somebody else, and then I get another one. No, no, I, just, I, I give it back and get a new one for myself. Do, but I really wanted this. But they're thing. making that a pain in the ass now, making the you know the person you sell it to you know pay the taxes. Yeah. It's a whole nightmare now. Yeah. I used to be able to just say, here, give me a dollar. This God car forbid is yours. something goes from one person to another without them shoving it. Exactly. Yeah, that's there. what I didn't want to do. Okay. Though. You know what? It made it more complicated to do that. I bought this car with no bank loan, no lease, nothing. Yeah. And I thought that's as simple as it gets. I'm buying a car. Yeah. And uh, they, they put else? me on like 20. I get phone calls all the time now from marketers from the fucking guys who I bought oh, the car really? from. Wow. Because, hey, this guy's got some fucking cash. Make me, yeah. So hey, now, why don't hey, we call him up? So was the Rumsfeld one of those steps in your career that pushed you to that it next definitely level? Definitely was a nice, yeah, that was a nice thing. Yeah. It was any viral video uh, yeah. goes to people that don't know who you are. Well, some of your videos online are just, fuck. Some of millions them go out. And yeah. Millions of views. Once in a while. Not nearly as much, though, as like some girl talking about... <laughs> Oh, oral sex and she didn't never do it before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. She's racist. Yeah, yeah. I just think it would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking six hundred million, million hits. Views. <laughs> we're, we're just pigs. Yes, we're just That's pigs. That's what. There's some girl in a tank top. Like I went to see what the top top hits are once. You know, right. like the hundreds of millions hits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And some girl in a tank top who literally like she's a virgin and talks about sex. Yeah, doing nothing. Like. 400, five, like the whole country. Yeah, yeah. Like the population Everyone of the United States the has seen it. It's and actually just 20 guys jerking off. <laughs> yeah, just, and she's saying nothing. She's not really It's just Anthony anything. in a weekend. Yeah. yeah. So, wow, I got to see I forget. It was, it was several months ago, so I don't know if it's still I know, but now I just got to see it. You're right. Sex sells, man. It always will. Fucking always will. Sex and fights. People like to watch fights. people oh, hurt. Yeah. Some yeah. getting kicked in the balls. Teenage black girls fighting. With those windmill punches. I oh, those are great. Them. Gotta see windmills that. and their head is so far back. Like yeah. they just want to lead with their windmills. They don't want their face getting hit. Yes. And just pulling hair extensions oh, out. Yeah. Oh, I love all that shit. Where my weave? It's on the street. Right. It's great. I, thought, I love that shit. I found a piece of uh weave on uh, the streets of Cleveland yeah. when we were up there. Just and of laying course, there. You, you got, got the wow. guys. Yeah, World Star Hip Hop, motherfucker! <laughs> World Star Hip Hop! <laughs> they just love videotaping people getting the shit beat out of them. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And people love watching it. The national anthem should be, oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Do you like hockey? Or oh shit! I love hockey. I went to a few no, I know. Rangers games. I, yeah. Everyone tweeted me that picture. He's in the front row. Yeah, oh, hockey's nice. the best spectator sport, live spectator sport. Ever. You do That's like hockey? Nice. I love it. You're, you're yeah. I don't follow teams that much. Ran so I just you're not like love a being at a fucking Rangers game at MSG. That's really fun. That that picture went everywhere too because they they yeah. spied you in the fucking audience behind the goalie. Yeah. Behind the goalie. Yeah, because they come up right up to the fucking glass. Right. These guys smash into right. each other. Series tied 2-2.
Did you see the game last night? Yes. The coaches going at it? I did. They're going to fight by the end of this. I know, yeah, this is going to get ugly now. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. yeah it's that, time for it all to be fighting. I've never been to a hockey is, game. Oh, I hear hockey. it's amazing. If you're not a hockey fan even, it's the greatest thing. Basketball, they just kind of yeah. go up and I'm down, over. and everybody acts cool. <laughs> uh, you yeah, know, yeah. Baseball has its moments. I love baseball since way back. But hockey, it's nonstop. Yeah, brutal. I noticed last night you can't relax and watch the game. No. You're just like, ah, ah, it's in front of the net. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the yeah. Bru the brutal brutality of the play, the regular play, not just yeah, the fighting. Yeah. Yeah. I never, until I sat close, saw how many moments, like the moments that aren't on camera. Like there's a guy in the middle of the ice, and he's sort of going, hey, I'm open. So a guy on the other team comes up and just crushes him in the head with the stick. <laughs> mm, and crazy. it doesn't get called. And even the guy who got hit just goes, oh, well. like yeah, he doesn't yeah. even... <laughs> That happened. Oh, it's yeah. a legal hit. And there were some it... board checks last what? night that were just like, they. The, the move is great. They skate up real fast, spin around as they like jump and hit him with their back right. yes. up against the fucking wall. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's... The rule is you can't leave the air. You can't get air. Right. But right, they right. do it once in a while. They lift their skates up. So yeah, they're literally yeah. a second. missile. Yeah. Like a 300 pound <laughs> missile. And, and with their back. So it's like they're not even worried about no. their front getting hurt. They just... Right. <laughs> Going to your point, hockey is ex it's exhausting, it's exhausting for them to control the puck. Yeah. yeah. And you feel the anxiety. It's like, watching. It's right there. But they control it for five seconds. Oh, they don't have control yeah. anymore. It's, it's tension. Uh, that's, yeah. that's most of the game, just trying to control the fucking yep. puck. When that fucking puck just goes whoosh right in front of the net, yeah. and there's like no one there, yep. yeah. like, God, it's right in front. Or there's a guy right there, but he's a little off balance. Yeah, it's it's just a very clumsy a little, game. Yeah. It seems like there's a lot of, there's a huge amount of skill. But there's a yeah. lot of luck that you're in the right place at the right time. <laughs> well, it's a flow game. It's like you got yeah. a great team is one that you know they can take advantage of a moment and get you know yeah yeah that that whenever there's one guy who's sort of on his skates <laughs> and he's got the puck and everybody goes crazy they're like oh my god there's a chance no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I would just aim for the goal every time, no matter where I was. I would just try to fucking it, hit the goal. It yeah, must yeah. take a lot of discipline, the guys who have to a... To not just shoot. I saw one guy, he had an open shot, it looked like, but he passed it to the guy behind him mm -hmm. and crushed the defenseman in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> he just tackled the guy in front of him. But you don't really have a team. You're sort of a Rangers fan? Oh, well, I'm from Boston, so if oh, the Bruins are gotcha. in it, I go for them. Go but for if us. they're not, I've become more of a New York fan. I've been here for like 25 years, and the only people that were ever assholes to me all live in Boston. So it's yeah, I have you know, mm. I have bad memories. Not much there. love there. Yeah, a lot of bad Boston. Uh, who's that fucking? Uh, what's that guy on the Rangers that that gave a, a little shot to the goalie last night? The Devils I, goalie. I did not watch. That the was game. hilarious. I just saw a few highlights. Yeah, uh, just come to, and they would just just did it on purpose to start oh, yeah, shit yeah, 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 yeah. and try to throw uh, throw the Devils off the game a little bit. Yeah. I uh, Mike Rupp, yeah. I can't have either. My favorite guy on the Rangers is that guy. Is it Burke? The guy, the Boyle. Boyle. He's like a fucking a thought out caveman. He's got this fucking blue white skin and he's about seven foot two, it looks like. And he doesn't look fucking human. He's like a, he's like Prussian or something. Prussian. You know, one of those old gone school guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah the like, civilization is long gone. Yeah, comes yeah. from another time. This came yeah. from the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire. Empire. Went to college yeah. in Mesopotamia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, he's brutal. Uh, He's yeah. one of those guys when he skates out, they're like, all right, they're not trying to score now. This is, yeah. They they, just want every to team I was digging the action last night. And the, the, the goalies were amazing. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, Lundqvist had some, some issues. But uh, yeah. it was Road just doors, amazing, though. He also has two, two great shutouts goalies. in the series. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. Uh, only been done one other time. Two great goalies. Yeah, each team used yeah. to have a goon, man. And I just have no clue how anyone used to watch this on fucking standard definition uh, uh, four, yeah. four, three television. I watched it I, on a black I, and white TV when I was a kid. When I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Now you watch it HD, widescreen, and and like the camera angles are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're showing three different angles on the net, and it was fucking amazing mm -hmm. to watch. All right, this is all good, but why all of a sudden hockey? Who are you seeing? No, no, I'm not seeing someone that likes hockey. No, not we've at never, all. In eighteen years, we've it's never the only sport hockey. with all white people. That's why. Ah, that's I finally figured it out. <laughs> why are you into hockey all of a sudden? No, that's you know why? Because it's Stanley Cup and the Rangers are in it. It's, and it's been like, the Stanley right. Cup every year this time. Are the no, Rangers no, in the Stanley Cup? So well, no, no, there's something going on. Finals. They're in the playoffs. You don't want to tell us? There's something going on. I swear, I would tell you. Well, I got nothing to hide. I would tell you. Swear. You just decide hockey's it. 
And last night people were bitching because I was watching America's Got Talent while the hockey game was on. Oh, and then when that. that was over, I turned on. I mean, you know, it was a great hockey era. Yeah. Was in the seventies <laughs> when they had, when you they had guys that didn't have helmets. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah. made helmets mandatory, but they grandfathered in if you played without one. Then, right. So there was this era to. where the new young players had helmets, and the old guys didn't, and they just had blood on their fucking faces, <laughs> and they were just these badass old men yep. playing when you, with no helmet. I think they're doing that with the shields now. I yeah, I think the shields are getting to be. The yeah, you have to wear it. a shield if you come in now, but there's uh, not many at this point. But guys, not when you the see fucking some, shield. some of the shit that happens, you're like, how did anyone ne not wear a helmet? Yeah, they had goalies that didn't wear helmets. Oh yeah, back at the original. Glenn Hill, Hill, Kevin always talks oh, about. Oh my god, which is obviously crazy. But back then, you really couldn't lift the puck that that easily. That's why. Why? Because the sticks were weren't as curved and all oh, that right. shit. right, you didn't have like the fucking. Big uh, people were still getting hit in the head, but not as much the as you shoulder would have, shots. Uh, yeah. Would have assumed they just couldn't get that puck up. Getting high their back teeth then. knocked out, and they used to have chain link oh, fence. Right, it, the wasn't, it wasn't the it Go, wasn't oh, glasses. <clears throat> what, is, what is it? MSG Classic. Every once in a while, they'll show a, a, a hockey game from like nineteen fifty. It was just savages Check hanging it on it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see like chain him. link fence. They didn't, you know, invent the plexiglass yet. That's crazy. I never saw that. I only the only sport I'll go to now is UFC, but I would like to try a hockey game. Hockey is. Yeah. You would like hockey. You got it. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to sit up close, I've been but to it's kind of cool to hear him uh, trash talk and shit. shit. Yeah. It yeah, is, there you it go. It's fun to go to. Oh, that's right. I, went, I never, I had games. never been to a game, but um, they, I got invited to go because that's one of the reasons that I got interested in it this year. Oh yeah, because hockey doesn't. Nobody goes. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Like it, it, you go to a basketball see. game and there's like three ex presidents there <laughs> and Jay Z, <laughs> fifteen movie stars that don't even get on the jumbo train. Right. Yeah. But hockey, they're like they let me. You know, if I go to ask, try to get to a basketball game, I have to go get shitty high. Seat tickets. Yeah, yeah. But hockey, they're like, come on in. Oh, they... Mr. Louis C.K. <laughs> is joining us goes. this evening. I'm like the only one there. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring your attention to the big screen. <laughs> Louis C.K. is here this evening. Well, we're into the 40s and they still have plexiglass. I'm telling what? you, I saw fucking. Maybe it was only senses or whatever. Yeah. But the guy's not wearing a mask, obviously. Did you go to the hockey oh. game with a lady friend? Oh, oh this time. Uh, <laughs> fucking Jimmy. <laughs> How are your daughters? Are they handling the they're new great. fame? Yeah, I mean, they don't, they're not famous. It's, but they they're don't. Kids. Do they know a difference, though? Yeah, that people come up to me on the street More when I'm often? with them. Yeah, so that gets a little annoying. Are they rolling their eyes? Well, like, I'll be oh. talking to my daughter, and we're having a real conversation, and oh, someone no. will step between us and say, oh. oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. And I'm like, I was just talking to her about a big moment in her life. Oh, she just got her period, you idiot. <laughs> 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 you correct they're them little, and little. say, sir, I'm talking what? to my daughter? I go, I you put a finger up, like, excuse me, and they all ignore it. It's weird. People don't give a shit. But you, often people? there is a girlfriend pulling the guy away, going, "He's with his kids," and he's like, "What? Uh, he's you want cool. a fucking picture? He's cool. I'm a fan." Yeah. Have you had any dicks turn on yet? Like people, are like, what the fuck, oh, cool. dude? You? No, not really. Not really. That's good. I think yeah. that only happens if you're really aggressive with people. Right. But, uh, Mm. Uh, mostly people. I, I can tell sometimes when they're as their faces turn away from me, I can tell them go, "What a fucking asshole!" Fucking asshole. I know I disappoint some people in the world. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's true. The idea of people going off away from me and saying that guy's an asshole—it's not the end of the world. It's okay for that to happen. Yeah. As long as I feel like I did the right thing. I mean, if I if I try to connect with a person and say hello, and oh, that's not okay you. for them, yeah, yeah, okay. fuck them. Or if with if I'm with my kids and I'm trying to finish a conversation with my daughter with instead of talking to some guy, and he thinks that's shitty, and then, then fuck him, fuck him, yeah. I don't care. I just can't wait until your phase of getting to meet the people is over, because the more famous you yeah. get, believe me, this is a fucking, there's a, a, a window on this phase of when yeah, you're going to be, oh, do it please. No, the pictures, you're absolutely right. But, but at least I talk to them, and wait till these fucking Mayberry days are over. Somebody did <laughs> <laughs> Why are they called Mayberry days? Just because it's friendly and hometown-y. Yeah, <laughs> hey, no picture, but let's get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Coffee uh, or decaf? <laughs> I saw Jim, uh, what's his name, fucking, uh, Captain Kirk, what's his name, the original? Oh, that's oh, yeah. uh, Shatner. 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 William. Jim. Jim William Shatner. I know. Jim the, William. The Jim Kirk. No, Jim Kirk. I saw the character. <laughs> I saw James T. Kirk. 
<laughs> going into 30 Rock to do Conan. I was working there at the time and having a cigarette outside. And he was coming in, and he, he comes out of the town car, and a bunch of people walk up. And before anybody gets to him, he puts his hands up and says, This is not fun anymore. <laughs> and he just walks in. <laughs> and they all just, their hands all drop. And they're, all bummed out. They were stunned. That's great. This is not fun this anymore. This is not good fun for anymore. him. You know really? how long he's been fucking dealing uh, with that shit? Oh, yeah. And we, those fans? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, they really feel they own him. They own him. We yeah. love him, yeah. oh, man. He comes in here. He's oh, a great guy. He's a I love him. He's, a oh, he's such a blast. He's fucking 80 years old. He's still writing books and working. Mm -hmm. It's fucking yeah. depressing. I like, I like just throwing in Star Trek references no matter what he's talking about. He gets so... <laughs> He get, he's like, what, what, what do you mean? I don't remember that. <laughs> like, all oh, right. He was trying to talk about something. I start quoting Wrath of Khan, and he's just, eh. why? He has to understand, though. Let's be honest. Of course he does. You aren't going to become an icon from T.J. Hooker. No. <laughs> A rescue 911. Yes. Time is of the essence. Hypothermia was setting in. It was always hypothermia on that goddamn show. <laughs> right, we get it. The Mexican fell in the river. <laughs> Southern California. <laughs> Southern California is always about them trying to fish Mexicans out of the river. <laughs> uh, I used to play in those uh, riverbeds out there in California. You did? Yeah, when? yeah. What part of your life? Oh, my God. When I was like uh, 13, 14, I lived out there in San Juan Capistrano where the swallows came Really? Out. Yeah. Had a horse. Well, you I had a horse. Yeah, I was yeah. a, I was an equestrian up. guy. I had a horse. I went. I wore like up, I thought you grew up in some little apartment in Long Island with a shitty family. I At did. what point did you have a horse in San Juan Capistrano? <laughs> that was that what was the, the fuck is that is that was no the early part of my life. And then I went out to uh, San Juan Capistrano, lived with my dad out there. Yeah. Because when when my parents split up, he went out to California. And you went with your dad? Well, not right away. I stayed with my mom and then uh, vacationed. Uh, it was like, finally, all right, we're going to go dad, see dad. Your dad, who said, when you cried, he said you had pissy eyes? Pissy eyes and that I was being a faggot. Yeah, and, yeah. But, but, but come out and stay with me in California, though, yeah. and I'll give you a horse. Well, it was kind of cool because I went out there to visit, and, like, he gave me a horse, and it was really wow. cool. And I was like, you know, I had to call my mom. I was like, oh, mom, I'm going to fucking hang out here. Anthony and his brother went out on a bus like oh. fucking Ratso Rizzo and John Voight. <laughs> no, I was only like, went back no, on the way back. back. We went wow. back to New York. My 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 mom oh, sent money myself. out. No, this is, this is my great. mom Jeez. sent money out for uh, plane tickets for me and my brother to come back. And my father cashed in the tickets and bought us bus tickets. And, and then it kept the difference. And kept the difference. But how yeah. old were you, you again? Of uh, course, like you did. fifteen. Fifteen and. Yeah, I can't imagine. And, and my parents were cross country bus yeah. on a on a Greyhound bus all the way cross country. It took like fucking almost two weeks. They stopped everywhere. There were oh. Did your mother wonder on. why you didn't fly right home? No, no. She she kind of knew. Uh, when we told her, you know, we were on a bus, she was like, fucking Joey. Why didn't she buy an oh. e-ticket? What? <laughs> I have no e-ticket. Was I don't it really know. two weeks? It was almost sure. two weeks. Oh. Was like that was like that 10 days That's or like something like that. like a stagecoach. Yeah, it was crazy. And we just met, like, male prostitutes that were going to Chicago and fucking... Oh. There was this chick that was going to Cheyenne, and it was just like everybody was getting on and getting off. There was an Uzo bum that was just passed out in the back for a few cities. That sounds cool. And then oh. he gets off. Right. That yeah, sounds kind of cool. Not when you're 15. Uh, were you scared? Yeah, I was petrified. Scared, right? I was fucking scaredy cat, pissy eyed Anthony. When when you petrified. Uh, when you and your brother was younger or older? He was older, so he was kind of it was kind of good, you know. He how old was he? He was 17? Uh, eighteen months older than me. <laughs> Fuck. So man. he was sixteen and change, maybe. When when you called your mom and said you were staying with dad, was she bummed or happy? No, she was bummed. She was, she was like really bummed. But she, and she could have probably pulled some custody shit at that point, but she didn't want to, you know. She's like, oh, let him figure this out for himself. It's just interesting to me. Your dad was cruel to you, but he wanted he wanted to, you to live with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, he you know. He wanted your company. And and the cruelty was part of, you know, who he was. Yeah. But then there was also, you know, I had the horse. I was able to drink. Yeah. And he got him nice. laid. And he yeah. got him laid. laid. That was nice. Wow. Wow. Like so, there were there were all those good. I, he didn't really give a flying fuck if I went to school or not. So that was pretty cool. Wow, 
And then I finally... <laughs> wow. I, finally no, I, mean, I get you wanted to hang out <laughs> yeah, with yeah, him, yeah, and yeah. you grew up with his uh, the brutality part, so you didn't... It wasn't like an adaptation. No, but the no. The thing that was... fascinates me is that he treated you that way, but it wasn't a rejection of you. He was like, yeah, but stay with me. Be my, you know, be in my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It was he wanted know, to man you up. He was worried you were going to be a right. homosexual. He didn't want me to turn into And he wanted to fucking uh... keep his eye on it so his lineage wasn't around fucking uh, Right, he didn't want me uh, being a, uh, a queer. He was worried about it. he said. He was worried I was going to turn queer on him. Wow. And, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. Wow! So it was, about, it was all about it was all about making sure anyway? I, I was I was <laughs> I got a lot of guns that were bought for me when I was out there. A lot of guns, yeah. Um, a lot of horseback riding and uh, yeah. a driving of dune buggies and things like that, and of getting laid and mm -hmm. you know all that stuff, uh, so that I wouldn't uh, fall into that pit of homosexuality. Right, right. That I guess he thought I was imminently, yeah, yeah. Uh, per precariously perched on the fence. What a funny thing, it's like, have this toxic, <laughs> fucked up life for this age so that you won't be gay. Yes, yeah, so Just, just as long gay. as you're not gay, yeah, 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 yeah. be a drunk, gun-toting, right. uneducated... School-skipping. <laughs> yeah. And, and things just as never change. As long as you're not gay. <laughs> like, Nothing ever changes. I'm not gay. It's like, like, yeah. And meanwhile, now I hoard guns. Yeah, you're, you're I, like, I you're love dead. to rank is he still alive, your dad? No, no, he uh, he was gone in like '95 around yeah. there. But uh, yeah, it was just you know. Uh, wow. Yeah. But I, I'm a I'm a lot more I think responsible than he was. That's for sure. Yeah. He couldn't that's hold a saying. job for fucking oh, well, a month, and we were always moving. <laughs> Yeah. It was like, oh wow, we were all psyched. Oh, this nice house, and I always wonder why my mom wasn't wasn't happy that mm -hmm. we just moved. It's like, oh, it's a nice house. Yeah, all right, put your shit in there, man. And it was like, oh, that's because in like six months we'll be getting thrown out of this place <laughs> <laughs> and moving progressively to worse and worse towns on Long Island. Wow. <laughs> Until we ended up in like wow. CI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then wow. he uh, he finally, you know, they finally got divorced. I remember mom giving me the old speech. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, kids, come into the room. Now it's not your fault. And it was just the two of you, you, you and know. your brother. Me and my brother and my sister. My and how old sister. were you when you were the youngest? Uh, no, she my was sister the was the youngest. She yeah, was how old when you divorced? Uh, I, was, oh, I was, it was probably to eight, something like that. Yeah. Oof. Like 10. That's rough. Something I like was, that. I was 10 when my parents divorced. Him, yeah. And I was yeah. the youngest. I was like 10. I found it after my mother said, my dad uh, wanted to leave, and she said, you have to stay till he's 10. Oh, so wow. they stayed married for three miserable years, just waiting for me to turn ten. Like the three and worst like, years. As you're blowing out candles, he's putting luggage in the car. <laughs> 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 he blows them out before he leaves in and blows them out. He finishes the song with the horn as he's leaving. <laughs> 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 so How old sad. are you now? Oh, say it, God. say it. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. Did he, did he leave that day or did he give you a little leeway after oh, your time? I don't know. It wasn't don't like, remember? I don't remember it being like that. That's, I wish it oh was. Oh, my God. That's funny. Fuck, that's funny, though. <laughs> Tragically funny. That's great. Wow. Yeah. So great to laugh at something from when you were 10 now oh, at 44. I know, right? Finally, Thank you, maybe Jimmy. Oh, that's up. all right. It's Muster up joke. a chuckle. It's like I say in my new book, The Gift of Laughter. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta go, right? Yes. I oh, have shit going on. Yes. And what's the plugs, Jimmy? Uh, oh, I only have one plug, um, and that is uh, June 9th. I'm with Artie Lang, David Tell, and uh, Nick DiPaolo at the Foxwoods uh, fucking place. Foxwoods <laughs> fucking the place. MGM Grand Casino. They changed the name. Nice. What are you doing there? Comedy, you guys? Yeah, the okay. four of us. A little sketch thing. Mm. Table, the improv. Yeah. <laughs> Yell out an <enough laughs> occupation. <laughs> and Louie, I, I texted Louie. The fucking, you saved my special, but with the fucking yeah, being dark lights. in the room. Yeah. Holy fuck, was it fucking better, man. Morons. You, you're right. Uh, you, dude. Oh, man. You missed the freak yeah, out, yeah. though. I freaked out, but I'm, I'm, I'm on the same thing. The, the, the early show, they didn't do what I said. Yeah. I'm watching the jib shadow yeah. go over people, and I was mm -hmm. out of my fucking yep. mind. It ruins people need to be dark and uh, and they you need to be loud in order for people to laugh without abandon they need to be in the dark especially when it's fucked up humor like we do right they, they don't want to look around at each other they don't want to yeah. feel like they're a spectacle with cameras on them they want to feel like they're in the dark and they're anonymous and you need to be loud enough that they don't feel like they're gonna miss something if you're but every fucking TV every stupid comedy central stupid fucking cunts when they do a special they light the audience they they get pretty girls who yeah. don't laugh 
to sit in the front row and then they uh, and they turn the mic way down just for you know it's it's because it makes it a little easier to mix it. Right, it's not right. That, I know that it's not that big a difference. Mm. When I went to Todd Berry's special, he did a great hour, and they had a fucking smoke machine to make it look a little cooler. And it's sitting right by the stage, and in the middle of one of his jokes, you'll hear, oh, shit. Oh, and it just goes off, and they're so uh, fucking... Terrible. But I had the same thing when I did Shameless the first hour I did. The first show was bright as hell, and the second sh mid between shows, I was in the truck screaming at people. Oh, man. And they go, if you do dark in the second show, it won't match. And I said, Fuck the first show. It's garbage. Wow, this sounds familiar. And it did, We're doing I went the second show's the whole thing now. I went ballistic. Up. That's exactly what happened yeah. to me. And we could edit because the stage, where this director told me, well, the stage won't be lit any differently. And it wasn't. And it was fucking, we, we mixed and matched the shows fine. And any editing we had to do was just fucking, uh, because there was no audience to cut to. Yeah. Just cut on the fucking reverse shots. It's yeah, not it that fine. hard. Yeah, no, it wasn't. The I best. haven't had an audience shot in four specials. I haven't had one audience shot. You yeah. literally, when you watch me walk out, you would think I was in a room with just five dark heads. Yeah. You <laughs> can't see anybody. Well, but, nobody cares in the, when they're watching. They want to watch your act. The right. best part in between the two shows when you're freaking out is when you threw your shoe and it bounced in such a weird way and hit one of your guys in the face. <laughs> hit the, the director. The director caught us. <laughs> the director? Yeah, I wasn't you threw mad. your shoe? I was, <laughs> not at him. Not at him. I, I, gun, a lot of people know that. He threw it. It bounced off wall. a garbage pail, a wall, hit a light or something, and, and fucking the guy. He caught it. <laughs> no. I, I, I've never. If I had a gun, I would he have shot everybody and myself. Some, oh, some, oh, someday we will be able to delve into the full we anger did. that was. You were gone. Me oh, and Jimmy right. did. Oh, okay. okay. Me and Jimmy did. It was me it, and Ann were in the other room. I have never for the first heard time, anything like that scared. in my life. Kinda it was scared. frightening. I, I, was, I felt like I was back being a kid again. Well, you worked your whole life, you know, and a whole year or whatever it takes you to get ready for a thing like that. And it all comes down to that one hour, and then someone just ooches up the dimmer and ruins it. Oh. And I, and I like specifically said, oh. I want it dark. And they had fucked up the lighting cue. They left Lenny, the opener. Right. I said, if you want to get a couple audience shots, do it while Lenny's on. They said, can we do that? I'm like, okay, fine. But when I'm on, this is Turn how it, it is. Down. And they gave me the wrong lighting cue. And I should have mm -hmm. just said, hey, can we fix this now? I should have just said it from the stage, but I was such a fucking. What about the guy with bag. the camera in the aisles? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm watching this. Oh my god, I'm watching some fucking guy, and I said I didn't want this. Literally, there's two guys. One guy with a tripod. I'm watching him walk up and down, and another Ugh. guy set the camera up, and I'm, 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 I. You couldn't tell from watching it, but I'm thinking I'm shooting an hour. What are you fucking doing in the <laughs> comedy special? Yeah, <laughs> that's what he sounded like in the other room. Yeah. Well, how does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> it's like letting a cat run across the bed during a porno shoot. <laughs> yeah. It just fucking wrecks everything. <laughs> me, me and Anna in the other green room, whatever. Oh, and, my and God. And we look at each other like, well, one of us has to go in there. I'm yeah. looking and like, I went, I, all right, I'll, I'll give I it said, a shot. I said, I'm not going in <laughs> I there. I'll give it a shot. I'm sitting in this fucking green room, and I am not fucking. It was cinder block walls, and we could hear you. I was, no how loud I you was letting everybody know that I wasn't yelling at the people around me. It was the fucking Cleveland, well, stupid well, fucking local This is like the Tonight Show show when Johnny would be sitting there and oh, Amy like, Schumer look at some, that someone yes. would just walk in yes apparently oh. an Amish woman judging by the shoes <laughs> so, would you spill on your uh, shirt raining. wait I don't know what mic you are no hi Amy hi. I don't know what it's mic you are we, we've had oh. too many mics on today hi, is that me maybe this try that which one? Right, yeah, you're on. Yeah, Hi, this one? There you go. Yeah. Hi, good morning. That's, That's set it. for ramble on, but whatever. Yeah. Hey, uh, the other morning I was listening to you guys on, well, I was listening on uh, Replay. I listen almost every day. Ooh. Much. And uh, I just, you guys were talking about Michael Jackson when he when he thought he got the Millennium uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Artist yeah. in the Millennium Awards. Yes. The thing is, I know somebody who was working on the, sh on the show, on the awards show, yeah. and the story was very, because you guys thought that he just was so dumb that when he heard Britney Spears say, <laughs> We'd like to think that. Anyway. Artist of the Millennium. Yeah. It's much worse than that. Oh, it oh, is? No. Yes. Because they want, they were like, hey, let's have Michael on the show. It's He's not getting anything because he's not doing anything. Yeah. But it's his birthday. So we'll just honor him. And he's and Britney Spears will introduce him, and he demanded that she say "Artist of the Millennium." She, he said he won't do it unless she oh, says it. And Britney shit. Spears was like, "What?" And he was like, he, he's, his people said he has to be said right before he comes on Artist of the Millennium or else he won't come on. And they almost said, fuck him. But they finally did it. And he wanted some kind of thing to be presented to them, him. But they like it was a big negotiation. And they said, we'll give we'll put a wow. cake up there. 
And so he just grabbed a piece of it. And <laughs> it's very shrewd, though, because in his mind, I think at the time, his fans were so fucking dumb yeah. Yeah, that yeah. they thought, oh, my God, he won the art. Like, he just knows <laughs> his fans will think he won we'll think that he won. And I think Britney actually did some sort of elegant job of making it sound normal by saying, she to said, me, I consider yeah, him. I consider she him. was just told to say he's the artist of right. the millennium. And he grabbed a piece of that fucking cake. Yeah, thing. it was a very, it was I a business-minded cynical thing he sure. did it wasn't crazy <laughs> oh i thought there was a yeah. mix-up it was very calculated no. well no. now he's dead and it can't be helped <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah he's gone he's you know gone. he's gone yeah uh you know what i mean he's gone nothing can be and, done uh and nothing can be done about that <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing uh, we can do about it <laughs> have you, have you oh, ever hold, i've never heard a more you know. final statement about yeah, a guy yeah. there's he's no gone. negotiation you know, in that and the fucking, fucking idiot who's been in the mob all his life what do you mean he's gone <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking he went on vacation he just yeah, took yeah, off you know he, he's gone and he's gone. Uh, there's nothing anyone uh, yeah. can do about and it and selfish breaks the payphone for the next guy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that one guy that was walking by after he's busting up the payphone. Yeah. I always think, imagine if he was just one of these asshole guys yeah. that would like, hey, man. hey, dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like how Lose he would have just been dead. Yes. <laughs> like if he would have fucked with Jimmy at that point. That's the best. He would have been dead. And hey, when he walks fuck, in, don't fuck the phone up, asshole. Yeah. When he walks in the room and goes, oh. Right yeah, before yeah, he gets yeah. shot. Oh, oh no. He oh, this old gag. Nick DePaulo once told me that that's what it, he, him and his friends used to tell girls at bars we're having a big party at our house. <laughs> <laughs> and girls come and they walk in this empty basement oh. room. And, he, and she goes, ah, oh, and she gets a load of jizz in the back of her head. That has absolutely <laughs> happened. <laughs> yes, right? I have been the victim oh, of that. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. 100%. Oh. Last thing you see before you're murdered is fucking stacked lawn chairs. <laughs> How awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was no big festivities going on in that no, room. No. Oh, especially when he's bonding on the way in. Hey, yeah. this must bring he's back kind memories. of busting the guy's ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, hey, yeah. When was that? When they had horses? Yeah. Had he's just thinking, oh, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Soon gotcha. to be dead piece what, of shit. What a fucking gotcha moment that yeah. is. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. Yeah. He yes. couldn't even get out. Oh, no. He tried to say, oh, no. no and he just realized. Well, he's yeah, egg yeah, on his was, face and blood and oh, brains. Boy. Egg, egg on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we also got to thank Train for stopping by. They sounded great. Listen yes. to the replay there. They did there. a great job. They yeah. did three songs, two from their new album, uh, California 37. They fucking destroyed Ramble On. Holy I'm gonna fuck. I'm going to play that on my fucking Boneyard show tonight. Are you? Yeah, that was because the Train is not a Boneyard band, but I'm going to. I love that, uh, what they did with that. That was that one. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank Louis C.K. for stopping by. Thanks, Amy Schumer. And uh, that's it, I guess, right? All right. Yeah, that's uh, well slash. Oh, shoes, slash. Wow, what's wrong with him? Slash being uh, his people being a little complicated. We want to think. Yeah, slash was great. He was Why great do you though. Have a stain on your boob. Guys, it's you're, raining. You're, you're I got a, a girl. one girl. big raindrop. What's the right? rain? Fucking canola okay. oil. Okay. Leaking, <laughs> you're leaking <laughs> milk. Canola oil. It's just it should have dried because it's now. hanging in. Yeah. It's a conversation piece. I thought maybe oh, okay. you guys. That's a guy thing having a stain like just a dark spot. Dark spot on your shirt. Add that to the list of reasons I'm not a woman. Girls don't have that. No, girls don't have that. Her mic sucks. Yeah, it's very tinny. Yeah. It's right, not we'll, my fault. Hard no, to hear not. you. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all tomorrow, right? All right, everybody. Bye. -bye. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show.